Hi, it's Hilliot again. Topic of the day, Western versus Eastern. Who makes better games? I'm going to make this video kind of short because I want to hear more from fellow gamers. This is an argument that's more along the guidelines of when a developer makes a game and they target a specific audience, whether it's Western or Eastern, what are they targeting? And out of, out of those features that they're targeting, what are the drawbacks? Because they're focusing in on those features. So the way I'm going to set this up is I'm going to go over what those features are, what the drawback is, and then I'm going to follow up each one with some examples to back up why I say that. And you can, at the end, tell me what you think. So we'll start off with the Western wants, per se. Western gamers, at least from my experience, we want action, action, action. We love to just see it get her done, get in, uh, just knocking some teeth around. We like that visceral type of immediate gratification. So not aside from the the combat type of aspect, that react, that input that we get from the game, we also want control over every aspect. If a gamer could have his way, he wants to control the story, the outcome of how the story unfolds, the character growth, the world around him, every little thing. That's why certain games have become really popular this generation, some last generation, but stronger this generation. Then we want bragging rights. We want to be able to play online with our buddies and say, hey, you know, I'm top, top dog in this house. Uh, I'm King Kong up in this in this shit, you know what I'm saying. So, what is that drawback from that type of broad control? Well, I've talked about everything except for character, appearance, and design. The thing that gets left out, and I see this on the forums a lot, is lack of character appearance. How many times have we seen bald characters? Mm, Mass Effect, Infamous, God of War, ah, there's a lot out there, I mean, you can go into like the Crisis and all those other games, but design seems to get really hurt from, I mean, yeah, these guys look cool, but they're all the same kind of personality types, their whole demeanor, and the games, I mean, you, you can look at like, how we really like games like Gears of War because it encompasses the immediate action, the multiplayer experience. I can play with my buddy, I can show you up. We can look at the Gods of War because of how the impact and the visceral and how strong that character presence is. Excuse me. And how responsive like certain controls are. Another part, look at Grand Theft Autos, the control over the world, the infamous, how we want control over the world, Mass Effect, again, with control over the story and how the character's going to play out. It's those kind of broad experiences that we want control over. And what are the outcomes? You look back and all the characters are unevolved. They're, they're all just like generic villains. I mean, they may look cool from some kind of design. But they're all the same. So that's Western. We're going to move on to Eastern. Eastern gamers, from what I've seen, and I say Eastern meaning more Japan, they really want accuracy, that fine, subtle detail, all the way down to the, 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 little, the little pieces, the things that most people would just walk right by, the stitching on a shirt or the, the design of a hair, little features. Another part that goes into that is diverse character types. Something that, you know, we're lacking in America in our characters. Diverse characters. Um, you can look at all the RPGs. Uh, you can look at their uh, Bayonetta. Come on. You don't see that in no... That's geared towards uh, an Eastern gamer. I mean, I won't even go into that spiel. But <laughs> then you look at combat depth. That is one of Eastern gamers' 
straight. Bayonetta, prime example. Devil May Cry, prime example. Ninja Gaiden, prime example. These are intensely deep, detailed games in the combat area. You look at any of their fighting games that they have out there, super deep. You look at their RPGs, and the way their combat system is set up it is so intense, and there's so many different variables in the combat experience from a tactical standpoint. It's all very subtle. You have to pay attention to those type of things to be really, really strong at it. And what are the problems with it? I didn't talk anything about, when I'm talking about their strengths, of uh, believable character types. I mean, I can't relate to some of the characters. There's no way in hell I'm relating to Bayonetta. Uh, Ninja Gaiden? Where the hell is the story? I, I can't relate to that at all. Combat's kick-ass, but I can't... I can't feel like I'm in his role. I have no control over any of my characters. Uh, the story is just kind of... It's a narrative that's on rails. And there may be little divergence, but mainly the whole experience is on rails. I, I can't relate to any of it because I've got no control. And as a Western gamer, that's what I want. So I'm missing out. So, to close my point up, what do gamers or game developers from the West or the East need to hit a mass appeal or to really shine? Because if you look at sales, West is a larger market for sales. So if they gear their games more towards the Western audience, they could be perceived as the better game makers. But if they only release their games in Eastern, in Japan, and they gear their games towards that market, they're dominant. You look at Final Fantasy um, 13. It did great over there. Not so great over here. You look at those sandbox games over here in America, and they don't do as strong over in Japan. Because it's... I, I, I can't say. But who really makes the best games for the audience that they're targeting? You tell me what you think. I was going to do a whole spill about all the different types of genres and which games show the strength of that genre. But that really doesn't get to the core of it. Who makes the better games? Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Have a good one.